Hello there guys. Okay, this is video number six from the last um, last video of the series, um, uh, working with data. So what we've um, covered in the last video is how to add an item to our database. Okay. Uh, in this video, we'll be looking at how to delete a specific item. So what I've done uh, since the last video is I've added one button. There's no code behind it yet. So let's get started. Okay. The first thing is that we need to uh, remember that we need to add and delete from the table adapter. Okay, and um, if I go to the delete statement and I go me dot context table adapter delete, you can now see that um, it allows us to select um, the original ID context ID as integer and the date created as date, which is the date created in context ID. But the thing is, I don't want to delete according to those specific parameters. Okay? I want to delete something according to the person's name and maybe their last name. Okay, so how do we change that? Okay, first of all, we need to find the table adapter and then we need to find the delete statement. And to do that, we're going to need to go to our context table and we're going to edit the data set with a designer. And here you can actually see the data sets on the top and the table adapter at the bottom. Okay? So in the table adapter, there's a full get data. Or if we look at here in the properties, we can see that we are currently looking at the full query. Okay, but we want to change the delete statement. And the delete statement, if we click on the drop down arrow, is under the context table, table adapter. And there's the uh, delete statement. Okay, I'm going to expand that a bit. And that is the, the command text itself, the SQL text. I'm going to click on it on the three little buttons and here we can see there's a query builder and this query allows us to um, build the query according to um, what we want. Okay, So the query states delete from context table where the contact ID equals original ID. No, I'm going to change that to where first name equals to question mark, okay, and last name equals to question mark. All right. So I'm going to click OK. And to check that it's fine, I'm just going to open it again. And you can see first name, last name, parameter one, parameter two, it's fine. Okay. So if I go back to my form, go back to my delete statement, you can now say it's uh, parameter 1 and parameter 2. Okay? We can be a little bit more specific actually and just go and change the table adapter, the delete command, and change parameter 1 as um, my first name. Okay, and parameter 2 as my last name. Click OK. And now it says delete my first name, my last name as integer. Okay, so the f um, what we need to do is find out what the first name and the last name is. So to ensure that everything is fine, we're going to go me.validate. Okay, and then the first name would be on our, fir on our page first name text box and the last name would be the last name text box. So it'll be me dot first name text box dot text. Okay, and a comma and me dot last name text box dot text. Then we're going to say MSG box deleted. Okay. Obviously, we need to update the um, the data set again. So we'll go me dot table adapter. Fill 
me dot contact data set dot context table. Okay. So let's give it a run and see how it goes. Okay, so if I want to delete Mike, click on delete. Oh, of course, I've made a little error here. And the error being that my statement has an equal operator. The delete statement. We, um, it's based on text and therefore it must be like click OK Let's give it another run click on like delete it ok as you can see it works fine alright I'm um, sorry I forgot about the exclamation mark or the, the equal sign but um, you can see how you can delete items, change the parameters of uh, the table adapter so that um, you can actually specify which ones you want to delete. Um, you can also um, modify and work on the table adapter as you see fit. Um, my next video we're going to be looking at uh, building reports, basic reports for this um, and how to work with a report document itself and maybe the video after that will be covering the Microsoft Report Viewer. Okay, so I'll see you then. Cheers.